peace infinite waters diving deep once again we are out here in nature baby the beach is that way gorgeous day beautiful deep divers i hope you're enjoying wherever you are right now but do you have a negative self-image i mean a lot of people with a negative self-image so how to stop having a negative self-image let's just woo, breathing in that good ass prana baby is that you you don't like how you look there's always something it's always one thing maybe it's your baby toe i have no idea I meet people everywhere I go. And I'm like, you're beautiful. Look at you, you're beautiful. And they're like, no, I'm not Ralph. I'm ugly. Huh? We ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello? <laughs> I was paying you a compliment. At least say thanks, right? <laughs> you see, let me share with you what's helped me along my journey. Along my early journey, I had a very low self-esteem. I didn't like how I looked. I would sometimes stare at myself in the mirror thinking, gosh, I wanna be someone else. I don't look good enough. I don't fit into society's standards, society's expectations. And therefore, it was torture. <laughs> Thank goodness, right now I love myself. No, 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 no. I love myself. I love how I look. I love how I feel inside. And that's why I have a positive self image and I am becoming my greatest version. Now, if you have a negative self image, we gotta talk. We gotta talk. You ready? Great. Let me share with you about 10 steps that will help you turn your negative self image into a positive self image okay so check this out the first step is that it's not your body how you look it's your thoughts mm. slow motion this side mm. <laughs> so i'm sitting on the beach with a friend a guy comes up to us and it's like he's like can i take a picture of you guys i'm like huh okay and then he starts talking about this book he was reading how the majority of human beings have a very negative self-image and it's not our bodies it's our thoughts what is going through our minds and i'm like yeah that's so true because i meet models even who are like ralph i i feel ugly and i'm like look at you you're beautiful right even the cat down the road is like you're beautiful what is going on in your mind that is giving you a negative self-image? It's your thoughts, your limiting thoughts. More so, it's your perception of yourself. You see, what helped me along my early journey was to realize this simple secret. Perception creates reality. It wasn't my body, okay? Because let's face it, everybody's body is pretty cool. Okay, you might have big ears, but that's what makes you unique. That is what makes you unique, okay? So it's not our body that's the problem. You've got eyes, I've got eyes, okay? It's the software, which is our belief system, our thoughts that is causing problems in our body. And it happens when we start judging ourselves. Are you very judgmental on yourself? Are you always criticizing yourself for everything you want? Instead of focusing on everything you are, that's how to get a positive, a positive self image. You see, you have to start accepting even your flaws today. Everything you think is not good about yourself. There is someone who is gonna love that about you. Okay, so I've realized I had to change my thoughts and now my perception of myself is the only thing that matters. I don't care how you see me. I know how I see me. And it's bloody beautiful. Can I get a hello there? That's how you get a positive self image, baby, baby. What's the second step? Beautiful deep divers. Now, do you have a negative self image? Many times it arises because you are hanging around people who make you feel bad about yourself. They make you feel worse, okay? I've learned that your environment becomes you. 
Surround yourself with people who love the inner you more than the outer you. That's the secret to get a positive self-image. You see, I used to have a negative self-image because I sometimes used to hang around people who would always compare my body to other people's bodies. They're like, Ralph, yes, you need to get a six pack. Gosh, I'm like, what's wrong with a two pack? <laughs> I love two pack. <laughs> Look, your environment will become you. Energies are contagious. Yes, your body is so beautiful. Mwah, I love it, but that is not who you are 100%. You want people around you who are gonna be like, you know what? The most beautiful thing about you is not even physical. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. Say it again, Ralph. You want people around you who will tell you the most beautiful part of you is not even physical. Mm. Mm, that's how you get a better self-image. Find people who love the inner, not outer, I was about to say outer, no. Inner you first, then the outer you, okay? Because as long as you only have people around you who love the physical you, the outer you, the shell, the vehicle, you are always gonna have to start keeping up appearances. That's when the pressure arises. That's when you realize, I can't cope, Ralph, I told you because now people's expectations are too high. Now, ladies, you feel you always gotta wear makeup. Fellas, you feel you always gotta get the six pack, right? Surround yourself with people who accept the inner you, your true authenticity. That's beautiful. What's the third step? Let's go to 10, 10 steps, okay? Third step, to stop your negative self image. Write down right now one thing you love about yourself and then stick it on your fridge next to the cat down the road. Because you got a picture of the cat down the road, right? Okay, stick that image. Stick that note which says, I love, what do you love about yourself? I can't find anything, Ralph. That's why I've got a negative self image. There is always one thing you can find you love about yourself. I'm gonna give it to you right now. Go like this. Oh my gosh, you got a smile. You got a smile. Write down that. I love my smile. Stick it on the fridge. Every single day you pass by that note, you are priming your subconscious mind to remind you of your greatness, to show you that you are worthy. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. <laughs> I love my compassion, Ralph. Okay, woo! Number two on the list, what else? I love that I've been through so much, Ralph. Talk to me. But I still made it out of all of those obstacles. Woo, that's three on the list. So you can keep going down the list. Put it on the fridge. Every single day, you're gonna walk past the fridge. You're gonna see it. And that's gonna remind you that, hey, you are beautiful and that will give you a positive self image. What's the fourth step to stop a negative self image? Seven day vegan challenge. I've been a vegan for over 13 years, okay? Sometimes I lose count. It's been a long time, okay? Now, once I stopped eating meat, what happened to me? I got a better image of myself, what I call unconditional positive self-acceptance. Because for the longest time, I didn't like how I looked because I didn't like what I was eating. I was eating foods which were insalubrious. They weren't good. Now I'm eating a more alkaline diet, plant-based foods, kale, arugula, brown rice, spirulina, <laughs> butternut squash, butternut squash, portobello mushrooms, ginseng, E3 Live, complete source of protein. I feel amazing. Mangoes, vitamin A, I'm glowing. A lot of vegans be glowing everywhere. You can see them in the dark. Beautiful, right? I'm feeling better about myself because I learned the secret that you've got to be able to change your meal plan. If you are eating a crappy diet, you are gonna feel terrible about yourself. I know what it's like. I used to eat fast food like nobody's business. Bacon, cheese, eggs, sausages. I used to love that stuff. 
ribs, spare ribs, right? Now I'm like, no thanks, <laughs> I'm good, right? And now I've got a better self-image because I am in control of what I am putting into my body. I'm only, I'm only, I'm only eating foods with live enzymes, foods with antioxidants. I'm only, I'm only, I'm only eating to live. Because for a long time, I was eating to die. Ask yourself, are you eating to die or are you eating to live? If you are eating to live, that's how you get the, that's how you get a magnificent self-image, baby. What's the fifth step to stop your negative self-image? Let's go to 10. Number five, look, mirror, mirror. Ever watch Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, right? Go and watch it right now. When you are looking in the mirror, you are seeing a distorted image of yourself. That's not truly who you are. So it's what I do and what I say to people. If you have a negative self-image, a low self-esteem, you don't like how you look, find another mirror because that mirror is lying to you. Chuck it away. And another mirror is a true reflection. Stop judging yourself all the time for everything you want. Stop praising yourself for everything you are. The new mirror will be your true reflection, okay? It's where you're like, gosh, actually, I'm pretty, I'm pretty awesome, right? I don't look too bad, but it's not how you look. That's the whole thing to get a better self-image. It's how you feel. Start changing how you feel. Start living a life you love every single day to have a better self-image of yourself because it's all happening in our mind. Everything is happening in our mind before it manifests in the external world. Remind yourself that. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's so sexy? Mwah. That's better. What's the sixth step to stop your negative self-image? Be around someone who loves you for you. Who wants to be around you for you, not your booty, not how big your muscles are, but for you. Look, I'm just talking in, in a camera, in front of a camera, right? But I'm, I'm connecting with you right now. Do you, know how, do you know how beautiful that makes me feel? Very beautiful. I got a great self-image right now. I got a great self-image, right? Because I feel accepted. I can just be myself and people will accept me. A lot of people who have a negative self-image, they feel they always have to pretend. They can't be themselves because they have this massive fear, false evidence appearing real, that's what fear stands for, that people won't accept them unless they play up to that role. It's time to stop playing that role you've been playing for so long. It's time to take off the mask and show the world who you really are. That's how you get a better self-image. Embrace your flaws, okay? Be around people who love you for you 100%. Now, what's the seventh step to stop your negative self-image? Gosh, a lot of people are changing. Now they're getting a positive self-image. I told you how powerful this was. Now, let me share with you this. A lot of people all around the world, sometimes, what happens? <laughs> you don't like how you look, right? Do away with these unrealistic body goals and expectations. You aren't gonna look like someone in the magazine because they don't even look like that. I got news for you. I actually photoshopped their picture and airbrushed it too. I get paid for that. So when you see it, you're like, oh my gosh, look at that perfect individual. No, no, no. They don't even look like that, okay? Nobody looks that flawless, except the cat down the road, hello. So stop comparing yourself to other people. And to really learn how to love yourself, love your body, realize it's different from theirs and that's beautiful. You don't want a body like theirs. 
because comparison is the greatest thief of joy and that's why so many people are walking around with a negative self-image because you are trying to reach unattainable goals right or unattainable illusions so stop setting these unrealistic goals love where you are love your body and realize that you're pretty awesome no you're very awesome thank you very much exactly what's the eighth sign <laughs> not sign <laughs> just the eighth step that will do to stop having a negative self-image what's helped me along my journey is to be happy with your perfect imperfections what say it again ralph be happy with your perfect imperfections you see i know what it's like maybe it's the baby toe you don't like it maybe it's your fingers you don't like them i think they're pretty cool maybe it's your nose you don't like it i think it's pretty cool maybe it's your eyes you don't like the color i have no idea there's always something you don't like about yourself it's okay to not like something about yourself you're a human being there is an egyptian proverb which says a beautiful thing is never perfect slow motion this side so i just started to accept my flaws i turned my flaws into benefits flaws with benefits right because i started to love parts of me which i had once neglected disowned now i'm like come here for a hug come here for a group hug come here for a group hug baby and that's how you get a better positive self-image ever seen someone who you're like gosh they're ugly but they got so much swag you're like i love you <laughs> i love you so much they got the shine baby they got the mojo you better respect it and now they are the most beautiful person in the world the most beautiful person in the world is not the one with the prettiest face the most beautiful person in the world is the one whose heart is illuminated in radiant sunshine. No slow motion. What's the ninth step to stop your negative self image? Realize perfectionism is an illusion. More so, perfectionism is a curse. More so, trying to be perfect has no end. Like you can try and have the perfect body and you're gonna meet someone who's like, oh my gosh, you're gonna be like, I tried all those months and now someone's got a better body than me. Once again, your perception creates your reality. This, in this present moment, you can see everything is perfect. Even with your flaws, you are perfect. You were created in a beautiful marvelous way there is nobody like you in the universe so the moment you realize perfection has no end you're like hey i'm good enough i'll take it i'll take it i'll take it ralph right and that's how you go to the next level when you realize you are already perfect you become perfect once you change your perception of how you see yourself to say actually what is perfection? What is this perfect everybody in the world is seeking? The perfect wife, the perfect husband, the perfect body, the perfect house, the perfect car. It doesn't exist. Can I get a hello? <laughs> and what's the 10th step to stop having a negative self image? Stop blaming yourself stop criticizing yourself for everything you want and start praising yourself for everything that you are it's what i call finding the pearls within when you can't seem to find anything that's working with yourself go into nature and say gosh those leaves are so beautiful right there's always something working for you right now it's all a matter of where you look whatever you focus on grows if you continue to focus every single day on how bad you look you will only receive more of that it's time to start focusing 
on one thing that is working in your favor right now. It could be because it's a beautiful day. It could be something external. And then realize this, to change your negative self-image, it's all about how you, how you feel on the inside, your emotions, your energy in motion. Place yourself in environments which bring a smile to your face that make you proud to be a human being. The law of attraction is not we attract what we want. No, the law of attraction is we attract what we are. So once you change your frequency of how you feel inside, you bring more harmony from within by doing what you love, by doing something that makes you more happy, puts a smile on your face, going for a walk, go to the beach, meet Ralph Smart. That will start changing even how you perceive your body. Okay, I've stopped attaching and identifying with the body solely, okay? It's an ego that's disappearing. I don't believe every single thought I have. I could think, gosh, I'm not good enough one day. That's just a fleeting thought. I'm looking at the big picture and saying that my perception of myself is beautiful because I say so. I am the two most powerful words in the universe because whatever you put after that, you become. So deep divers, I am, fill in the blank. Oh, I am Wilson, that's pretty good. And then you'll just say, feel so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello? <laughs> Beautiful deep divers, we are out here chillaxing in nature, baby. Beautiful day out here with just, woo, breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Have a beautiful day, deep divers. Infinite waters, diving deep once again. Stay well, stay healthy, peace. You, <laughs> I love myself. Kendrick, let's do a song. <laughs>